Hello, folks. This is Detroit Miracle. Yes, indeed. Right now, I am here to talk about order, properly working order from a cosmic scale all the way down to a worldly scale. And even lower than that, if you're getting microscopic. So I'm talking about all types and categories of order. Yes, folks, like when a cosmos itself is working right in a proper function of ways, then everything runs smoothly on its end. But if something gets a little bit out of, then, you know, something comes in and checks. There's always safeguards in place. People, it has to be safeguards in place with this big, vast universe or giant asteroids will be crashing on the world. But that hasn't happened like that. Or, you know, it might be a comet or a meteorite that falls every now and then or so. Hopefully it's valuable and I find it, you know, right? <laughs> yeah, but in other words, when everything works right and proper and is continuing on that way, then nothing bad or disruptive happens. And it works like that with the worldly things. Why do you think it's a judicial criminal system set up? Because like crimes uh, promotes disorder and chaos. Like, you know, back thousands of years ago, the world was so barbaric and crimes were far worse than now. Like people are thinking that, oh, it's, it's bad now with crimes and stuff. But look, people weren't getting caught thousands of years ago and it was probably hundreds of thousands of people on the planet, if not growing to millions. You know, it was it probably eventually, of course, arrived at millions and it did billions as well. But at the time, they say you got a, hundreds of thousands of people and a uh, hundred thousand of them are prone and subject to violent fits of rage, sociopathic behavior, violence, killing, destructions, maniacal types of acts and stuff. What if a hundred thousand people are like that because it's savage? Especially at that particular time where like if a dude goes out hunting, he might have to fight with a tiger for that meat. They might they both might be fighting because they're hungry. Like this guy has to take something home to his cave and that tiger wants to um, go eat or take some back to feed a couple of her cubs and herself. So it's a struggle. So that's the mentality back then. So things got to be much more violent or and especially since there was no prisons or judicial systems like for trying criminals and persecuting criminals like things trials and things were probably handled by the mobs back then like a group of decent sane rational people would get together and point the guy out and that it did whatever heinous, heinous act or heinous deed that he did or she then they would probably conduct a certain type of public trial and then you know, guilt or innocent is factored in there. If they didn't do it, they didn't do it. If they did, then they did. And then after that, eventually, the people are like, well, we're this civilized enough to get groups together and persecute evil. And I hope they didn't persecute or falsely persecute the ones that didn't do it. But I know that's another story. But yeah, from, from that whole thing, people realize that, wait, we can get a even more efficient judicial system but much much better than mobs of people going out chasing people down for whatever they did or whatever they thought they did so let's set up a court system let's set up lawyers judges magistrates bailiffs and put them in this particular industry we can we can profit off of it too at the same time as we establish order and preserve order and keep order in that fashion and way and it's effective it's, it's we know it's proven effective but only if it's fair and part and equal amongst everybody like you know it's not effective if it's prejudiced biased and racist yeah folks you know so you know people so people have the smarts to establish order on a worldly sense people are smart enough to 
apply righteousness, morality, decent, decency, cleanliness, and etc. in their very lives. Um, people are motivated to civil behavior because it benefits you more to be civil instead of uncivil. Now you think better with a civil minded. So now getting back to the whole thing of order, now like if the everything works right inside of the universe, like every particular thing, and then if everything works right on a worldly tip or situation or situations rather, what do we have? We have established order, but if something goes wrong and something goes bad, it tends to knock things out of um, alignment. Like, and that's at a worldly level and it might be at a cosmic level in some way. Yeah, people, it sort of works like that, but it's more to it than that too. Well, okay, people, thanks for tuning in. Now I appreciate it if you would give me those likes, comments, and please subscribe to Detroit Miracle.